What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. So guys, during my Don't Trust Watch Reviewers mini-series, I mentioned that you kind of got to take every review with a grain of salt here on YouTube, not just within the watch world, but we're speaking specifically within the watch world because... Well, I'm a watch reviewer, and that's what I make content about online. Predominantly. Predominantly? Man, I, I can't speak today. This is why you really gotta take things with a grain of salt, because sometimes the person behind the mic is a <laughs> idiot. But jokes aside, one reason, the main reason you gotta take each review with a grain of salt is because my experience with a watch I'm reviewing might be vastly different than someone else's experience that's owned the watch over a prolonged period of time, right? I only spend a certain amount of time with each watch that I review, unless I'm talking about a watch that I personally own. So, after that series went live, I got an email from Sega Design, because again, in the first episode of Don't Trust Watch Reviewers, I mentioned the Sega Design watch that I was reviewing at the time and saying that my experience seems to be very different than other people that were commenting on that Kickstarter. Well, they put their money where their mouth is, Sega Design, because they said, hey, we're going to send you a watch, but we want you to hold on to it, wear it for a few months, and if something goes wrong, tell your audience. But we think that we're so confident that we just want you to hold on to the watch, wear it over a long period of time, and then tell your audience what you think. And I said, okay, that's respectable. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. Because we should note that first Sega design that I reviewed, I didn't have an issue with. But again, I only was, I spent like about two weeks with it. This watch, I've spent about three months with. The Sega design U-Series Blue Planet. And again, it's been on and off. It's not like been my only watch for the last three months, but I've had it on the wrist for a pretty good amount of time and I've had zero issues. So let's talk about this watch. It is 3.51 PM. Let's get down to business. All right, this Blue Planet is a 2021 GPHG Challenge prize winner, which is really, really cool. This watch is 46 millimeters by 46 millimeters. It's 15 millimeters thick. You can either get it in titanium or stainless steel. The one we have here is titanium. The strap is fluorine rubber. The movement is a Sega Design self, self, they said Sega Design self-design movement. That was kind of a tongue twister. It's in-house and we're gonna talk more about the movement in a moment. The net weight of the titanium is 72.43 grams, and if you get it in stainless steel, it's substantially heavier, 95.5 grams. 40 hour power reserve, 35 joules in that movement, minus 15 to plus 30 seconds a day accuracy with a three atmosphere water resistance rating. Now it should note, or we should note, this watch has a threaded crown. Why does it have a threaded crown with only three atmospheres? I, I don't know. Now, taking a look at this watch, you may notice it, it's called the Blue Planet. It looks like a blue planet, right? It looks like the Earth. And that's, they've nailed it. They've nailed it. Very detailed, very fun to look at, very interesting. But you might be asking yourself, where, 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 where's, where's the hands? How do you... Is, is this really a watch? And I assure you it is a watch, okay? Um, there aren't any hands on this watch, and the, and, and the real only time-telling indicator, if you will, is that, uh, that navigation marker. So that's really what you're going to use to orient it like that spinning center to the other markers on the dial. Well, let me explain. So the hour dial is static, and the minute dial is dynamic and you're using that navigation marker uh, as your reference point when you're telling time. So I think that made a little bit more sense. You're seeing images and video of it, of it moving right now though, or you should be. Gato, what do you do? Got, come on, cut it out, Gato. You're supposed to be seeing macro footage of the watch in motion right now, okay, period. So it goes without saying that this is by far the most unique watch I've reviewed. And we've taken a look at some pretty out there watches, like watches from Nove, watches uh, from people like Ageloser. But this, like straight up, no hands, looks like a big planet, kind of looks like a UFO. I think it's really cool. Let's just get into the pros and cons before I start talking too much. So first pro, 
really cool design, right? 46 by 46 millimeters. Aside from that crown, it, it looks like just a flying saucer. Very interesting. You can tell they put a ton of effort uh, into this watch, developing it. The fact that it has an award from GPHG is like really, really impressive. The time telling display is novel. It's not something you see every day. Not something I personally have ever seen. Um, I like that you have the option for steel or titanium. Again, the one that we have here today is titanium and the one that I've been wearing for the last three months on and off titanium the last pro that could be a con is that this is a real head turner right and again that that could be a good or bad thing moving into the cons uh the threaded crown with only three atmosphere water resistance is, is kind of unnecessary in my opinion um the next con would be that it wears big so if you have a slender wrist you know need not apply to this watch uh and then the final con would be this is not the quickest, most efficient way of telling time. Okay, so it's very novel, very cool, very fun, very different. But if you're used to just looking down at a, hand, a conventional handset, this is not that. So it's, it's you know, some, something to consider when you're wearing this watch or looking to purchase this watch. All in all, in summation, this is a super interesting watch. Uh, it's definitely worthy of that GPHG recognition. And I, again, I think that's, that's really cool that they have that accolade under their belt. Um, I think it's respectable that Sega design felt so confident in this product that they sent me another. And again, I haven't had any problems with it and still take this with a grain of salt. I've only spent three months with it. Who knows what happens three months, one day or something, but this has been my experience take it or leave it, clip the episode. That's it. Good job, Sega Design. Thanks for sending me another one. Thanks for sponsoring this episode, and I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate you for hanging out with me today on this episode. Guys, I love you. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.